So you, I bet you couldn't imagine when you first sort of picked up the story of Phil to direct it that you would now be up for all these nominations. Yeah, I didn't. You know, I wasn't. I wasn't what I was aiming for. I wasn't what I was going for. I was going. You know, I was going just to because it was such a difficult film to make. I never had, you know, this kind of thing in mind at the time. It's it's really nice to be involved with, uh, but it wasn't something I was expecting. I'm really glad to be here, obviously, but it wasn't something I was ever expecting. But. Um, it's nice, you know. It's 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 uh, it's it feels very unusual for me because I've never been involved with it before. But I'm just really proud of the film, and I'm really proud of James and and all my crew and and uh, and everybody who worked on it. So so hopefully we deserve to be here. Well, interestingly enough, you're talking about the crew because you actually your editors are up for awards this evening yeah. as well, aren't they? So that must be a real. Thrill. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, Mark Eckersley and John Gregory are our two editors. Uh, to be, you know, to be up for a technical achievement award when you look at the, the you know, the competition and the guys like, you know, Gravity and the Hunger Games, it's a, it's an amazing, an amazing achievement for those two guys. But they worked so hard, you know, and it wasn't a, it wasn't a nine to five job for these guys. It was a real labour of love, and they were coming in, they were working long, long hours because it was a very tricky edit. Because Phil's a film that you really need to get the fine tonal balance with, you know, you need to get the comedy and the drama just right, and that only comes with real editing yeah and real good editors so uh, so they deserve it they, they really deserve it and interestingly enough the two films that you just picked upon will have a certain substantial financial backing as well so to think as well that you're achi you're achieving something that, that's really independent um, is, a, is a testament as well isn't it really yeah I mean yeah there's a, there's a lot of big films here tonight uh, but there are, oh, there are also a lot of uh, you know lower budget films as well uh, I think where we differ in terms of being a lower budget film is we, you know, we didn't have the uh, support of the usual sort of um, outlets, uh, you know, to where, where British films are made. So that's what I'm really proud of. I'm really proud that we could have actually got a film made like Filth without these. I wouldn't like to do it again. I wouldn't like to try it again. I would love to be working with, you know, Channel Four, or BBC Films, or, or or VFI. I'd love love to work with those guys. But it was just my point is it's just a testament that. If you really want it and you really and you really work for it you can get a film out there you know